Welcome to the Virtuous Woman of Today podcast. I'm your host, Diana Bryan. Here, we uncover what it takes to become the virtuous woman of Proverbs 31 in our generation. We discuss the tools and the puzzle pieces to get there. The virtuous woman is not a myth, and you can be her too. You were called and are destined to be the virtuous woman of today. Are you ready? Welcome, my beautiful ladies, to another episode. I'm your host, Diana Bryant, and I'm so excited to be here with you today because this topic is a topic that all of us need and is to learn how to love ourselves. The Word of God tells us and exhorts us to love God above anything else and to love our neighbor like we love ourselves. And that piece, how to love ourselves, is something that for some reason is so hard for the majority of us. And I've been in those shoes where I didn't know how to love myself. And it took me many years to understand what that means and to understand the need to love myself and to put the oxygen mask on myself first, to fill up my own cup first before I can love, I can assist, I can help, or I can fill up somebody else's cup. So today I'm going to be sharing with you three vital parts that we have. And I know we have spoken about these three vital parts that we have in our body or or in our life is what I mean to say, and how we can love ourselves on each of these vital parts that we have. So the first part is our spiritual part, which once again is our relationship with God. The second part is our body, which is our relationship with our health. And the first thing is our mind, which is the relationship with our thoughts. So once we have all three three vital parts in good shape, once we have filled up the cup, once we have loved ourselves on each of these areas, we will be able to then fill up somebody else's cup on it, and especially on those vital areas for themselves as well. So I want to share with you today how some ideas on how you can fill up that cup some ideas on how you can love yourself. And the first thing we're going to focus on the spiritual part. So it is so crucial for you to fill up your spirit, to make sure that glass is full before you can function on anything else. That's why the Lord says to love him above anything else, because he's the only one who can fill up that cup for you. So some ideas on how you can do it is spending some time praying. It's important for you to communicate with God. It's important for you to bring to the Lord anything that is stealing your joy, your peace, anything that even if you're happy, bring it to the Lord. The more you spend time in prayer with God, the better you're going to feel and the more you're going to feel that your cup is being filled up. The other way that you can love yourself and love this area of your life is by reading God's word. The more you read the word of God, the more wisdom is going to come to your mind. The more the Lord is going to be able to guide you and show you what it is that you need to do. So you're going to have less confusion in your life. So that's why reading the word of God and finding that time to spend time with him, reading his word is so crucial to your self-love. Now, another way that you can love yourself in this area is by meditating, having some time to be quiet, having some time to spend time just meditating on the word of God. And what that means is just thinking about the verse that you just read and asking yourself, am I applying it in my life? How can I apply it in my life? How can I improve my life in this area? Is evaluating yourself and based on the word of God. So all that is part of meditating and you need to have that time for yourself to be able to fill up that cup. And you also need to have some time writing. Writing is an amazing way of communicating with God as well. It's an amazing way to letting all your thoughts out. And by you journaling or or writing, whatever it is that comes to your mind, to your heart, is a way to also communicate with the Lord. And of course, you have to have some time for worship. The more you worship the Lord, the more you sing songs to Him, the more you dance for the Lord, the more joy you're going to have in your life. So it is crucial for you to be able to fill up your spirit cup And it's crucial for you to love yourself in that area of your life in order for you to be able to see the results that are going to come out of from God filling up that cup for you. Once that cup is full, I guarantee that you're going to be able to fill up somebody else's cup 
and love your children, love your husband, love everybody that is around you because your cup has been filled because you have loved yourself first. The second vital part that you have is your body, as we mentioned before, is your relationship with your health. And some ways that you can love yourself and you can fill up that cup is by moving your body. It is so important for you to move your body, especially if you're feeling tired or if you're feeling depressed or anxious. Just hear me out and move your body for three minutes. Just get up jump, go for a walk and come back. And it only takes us three minutes and you're going to see how much better you're going to feel. And if you move your body and you commit yourself to move it for 30 minutes every day, it doesn't have to be 30 minutes, you know, like right at once. You can do it during the day, do five minutes here, three minutes there. And an accumulation of 30 minutes, you're going to feel so much better. And it's necessary for your body. It's necessary for your heart. It's necessary for your digestion. It will definitely help help and heal different areas of your body. So moving your body is a way of loving yourself. Having time to exercise is also so crucial to love yourself. Exercising helps you become stronger. Do you know that the more you move a muscle, the stronger it becomes? And it actually helps you with your mental health as well. So the more you spend time exercising, the more you're going to be able to experience that stress relief, that depression relief, or whatever it is that you're going through. So loving yourself in that area and doing it that way will help you love your body and understand how your body works and the, the need that it has for exercising. Also, stretching is amazing to release some um, you know, bad energy, to release stress And the more you stretch during the day, the stronger your muscles will become as well, and it will help them heal as well. So make sure you're stretching during the day. Make sure you're preparing your nutritional meals ahead of time. If we don't prepare our meals ahead of time, most likely we're going to gravitate to grab whatever it is that is around around us, and for the most part, it's nothing healthy. So make sure you're always eating nutritional things that you have previously prepared for yourself and that you have already selected that you're going to be taking it as another way of loving yourself. Drinking water, it might sound so basic, but drinking water will help you bring oxygen to your brain and it will help you think better. It will help you make make better decisions. It will help your skin. It will help Uh, all the nutrients in your body to go to the right places. So drinking water is another way of loving yourself. Having time for taking your supplements, your vitamins, putting putting a reminder so you, you are on top of these kind of things that will help you feel better. And I want to remind you again the importance of walking. Walking is so important to free your mind to be able to think better. So if you're feeling stressed out, if you're feeling whatever it is that you're feeling at the moment, just go out for a walk and see how much better you're going to feel. But the bottom line, when it comes to the body, the more you pay attention to it, the more you fill up that cup, the better you're going to feel. You're going to feel that you're loving yourself and you're going to feel inclined to love others the right way, the way they want to be loved. So make sure you're paying attention to your body as well. And the third vital part that you have is your mind. Your mind, once again, is the relationship that you have with your thoughts. And here are some ways that you can love yourself this way. One is having some time to journal. The more you journal, the more you write down your thoughts, the better you're going to feel. And you can do this by being grateful, showing up and thinking about three things you're grateful for that happened during the day. If you come up with 10, even better. Um, But be grateful to the Lord for the things that he's doing in your life. Having times to declare the word of God over your life. Have time to do affirmations to say that that who you are and who you believe that you are and what are the things that you're going to accomplish in life. The more you declare, the more you're going to be able to clear up your mind and believe what you're saying and have some time to reflect, some time to understand yourself, to listen to yourself, to f- to f- in tune with yourself, to see how you're feeling, why you're feeling what you're feeling, what is the root 
of whatever it is that you're feeling and bringing those solutions um, in your life. Another way that you can love yourself is to have some time to review your vision board, to review your goals, your dreams. You can't forget about this kind of things because those are things that keep you alive, that gives you energy, that gives you a reason, a purpose for being here on earth. That's why it is important that you take some time to review this kind of things. Have time to listen to mentors, find podcasts and preachings and read books that will inspire you, that will teach you, that will encourage you, that will guide you in the right path to achieve your goals, to have a clear and healthy mind. So all these kind of things is a way of sowing, of showing and sowing actually in yourself self-love. You also have to have time to evaluate your life. You need to make sure you're seeing how all the areas of your life are doing. If you're feeling comfortable in every single one of them, if they are in balance and the more you evaluate your life, the more you're going to realize what areas you need to focus on. You also need to have some time to be quiet, to be still, to be present, to breathe. It is so important to have those moments for yourself where you lock yourself in your room, in your office, wherever it is, and you have that quiet time for yourself or you go out in nature and you're able to meditate and stay still and be quiet and listen from the Lord and being able to receive what he wants to give you. And you also need to have some time to plan your day ahead. If you don't plan your day ahead, time is going to take control over your life. Next thing you know, you're not achieving goals. You're feeling a stress out. That's why it is so important to have that time dedicated to plan your day the night before so you're ready the next day to run with whatever schedule you have set up for yourself. In a couple of episodes before, we were talking about two habits that will lead you to having a successful life. And in that uh, podcast, if you haven't listened to it, go and listen to it because it's very powerful and it's going to help you achieve this kind of things, like how to allocate the self-love in your life. But in that podcast, we were talking about the morning and the night routine. And it's so important that you use that morning and that night routine to allocate some time to fill up your cup to love yourself. Once again, it is impossible to love other people or to fill up other people's cups if yours is not full. So you need to make sure you love yourself first before you can love other people the right way. So at the end of every episode, I always leave you with an action to take or a reflection to make. And today we need to take action. I want you to evaluate these three vital areas of your life. And I want you to ask yourself in what way you're going to be loving yourself in each of them. So listen to all the examples that I give you. If you have your own, then write them down. But see how you're going to and what you're going to incorporate in each of these vital areas of your life. And start loving yourself this week. I also want to invite you, if you haven't done it already, to be part of our private Facebook group, Transform Your Life. In there, we have different women that we support each other, that we share Bible verses and we encourage each other. Sometimes we go live as well, bringing a message like this. So make sure you join us on our Facebook page. Once again, you can find it as Transform Your Life or I leave the link below as well. And always remember that you are the virtuous woman of today and you have been created to become everything the Lord has called you to be. I'll see you next week.